Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. Well, welcome to my office. We stole a corner of it today to shoot a few videos on some very basic uh, handgun questions. What we're trying to do here is answer things that I get regularly in reader mail and telephone calls. And today we're going to talk about something, <laughs> what's a sight picture? Surprisingly, a lot of people don't really understand what that is. And with all the talk about flash sight picture and front sight only and point shooting and, well, it gets real confusing. So let's see if we can demystify it a little bit. We're going to use this Springfield Armory XD series pistol just to go over some real basic things about a sight picture. Now, I like this gun because it's got fiber optic sights and they're very easy to see. It's got red on the front and green on the back. The thing to keep in mind about the sight picture is that it has to be consistent. So, the top of the front sight has to be aligned with the top of the rear sight. That's first. Then, you should be seeing the same amount of white on either side of the front sight blade. So what you're looking for is essentially this U at the back with a single blade in the middle and the exact same light or white or blue sky on either side of it and the top of the front sight has to be aligned with the top of the rear sight. As we covered in the video regarding trigger press, at this point all we really know is that you have the gun aligned as well as you can possibly align it with your eyesight and the range to the target. Where it starts to go wrong is where you have that absolutely marvelous sight picture. Everything is aligned just absolutely perfectly and then you mess that sight picture up by jerking or slapping or hurrying through the trigger pull. And how that affects the sight picture is sometimes when they press triggers they'll torque the gun to the left and if you torque the gun to the left then the front sight will move to the left and your point of impact will move to the left. And again, if you torque the gun to the right, even just a few thousandths of an inch, your bullet impact will move to the right. Now something you have to be very careful about is if the front sight is slightly higher than the top edge of the rear sight, then the bullets will go high. And I'm talking a few thousandths here will translate to inches or more at a target. The same thing regarding the front sight is if it goes too low. If the top of the front sight is lower than the top of the sight blades, then the bullet impact will go low. And remember then, there's any combination of these. So you might have a high front sight and slightly to the right. Well, you're going to hit high and to the right. You have to pay attention. If it was easy, everybody would be Rob Latham. But it's not that easy. However, it is something that you can learn how to do. It is a skill that you can polish well enough that I know you'll amaze and astound your buddies on the range the next time you shoot. What you're looking for then is a marvelous sight picture and a marvelous trigger press. And if you have that combination down, then you can't go wrong. But if you disturb one or the other during the firing process, then the bullet's going to be wrong on the target. Now this hasn't been a comprehensive training video about how you aim a gun. You need to reach out for more for that and I heartily recommend that you follow up and get additional training. But until then, pay attention to that sight picture, watch your trigger press, and I promise you, you'll shoot better on the range. I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. Well, thanks for joining me in my office today.